my dear brother and sister in the name of infant jesus i greet you and welcome you on behalf of the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore to carmel light reflection on the word of god today is the 26th of january and we celebrate the memorial of two saints timothy and titus both of them were bishops later we will be seeing their life in just in india we celebrate the republic day now let's listen to the gospel reading and then try to reflect on the same a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 10 verses 1 to 9 at that time the lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him two by two into every town and place where he himself was about to come and he said to them the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few pray therefore the lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest go your way behold i send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves carry no purse no bag no sandals and salute no one on the road whatever house you enter first say peace be to this house and if a son of peace is there your peace shall rest upon him but if not it shall return to you and remain in the same house eating and drinking what they provide for the laborer deserves his wages do not go from house to house whenever you enter a town and they receive you eat what is set before you heal the sick in it and say to them the kingdom of god has come near to you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear friends, in 1980, a national magazine carried an unusual story. A man returned to his car, which was parked outside a large shopping mall, found a piece of note lying on the front seat. Dear sir, or madam. I fully intended to steal your car until I noticed the peace be with you sticker. I made it made me pause and reflect. I reasoned that if I did steal your car, you certainly would not be at peace. And on the other hand, I felt I would not be at peace either. as this was my first job so peace be to you and to me drive carefully and next time lock your car the note was signed a would be car thief 
my dear friends this unusual story illustrates the rather unusual instruction jesus gave to his disciples in today's gospel into whatever house you enter first say peace to this household if a peaceful person lives there your peace rest on him but if not it will return to you applying that to our story we see that the peace be to you sticker extended the peace of christ to the would be thief but if friends when the bible uses the word peace it uses it in three different senses what are they first it uses it in a military sense it is used in a military sense to indicate an absence of war between nations thus we say the nations are at peace second it used in a personal sense to indicate a feeling of personal well-being that's why we say we are at peace with ourselves and the third it is used the word peace in a religious sense the word peace is used in a religious sense to indicate a right relationship between god and ourselves thus we say we are at peace with god this is what jesus mean, meant when he said peace i live with you my peace i give to you the priest recalls these words in each celebration of mass it is this peace my dear friends that jesus instructs us to carry into our world today let us pray lord make me a channel of your peace amen reference in the english bible diary that we printed in aid to the children of the blind parents education we have alisha lobo from karkal elden disosa from dubai and in the konkani diary selin santumayer from chikmangalur Calvin Jo de Souza from Bantwal celebrating their birthday. I wish them a happy birthday on behalf of you and we all pray for their intentions. Also today Ronald and Noreen Mendonca from Mumbai are celebrating their wedding anniversary. we congratulate them and we pray god's abundant blessings on them today also we pray for our own country india celebrates republic day let's pray almighty god bless our nation and make it true to the ideas of freedom and justice and brotherhood for all who make it great guards from war from fire and wind from compromise fear and confusion be close to our political leaders give them vision and courage as they ponder decisions affecting peace and the future of our nation and the world make us more deeply aware of our heritage realizing not only our rights but also our duties and responsibilities as citizens make this nation and all its people know clearly your will that they may fulfill the destiny ordained for us in the salvation of the nations 
and the restoring of all things in Christ. Amen. My dear friends, as I told you today, we celebrate the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus. Let's look at their life in brief. The feast of these two companions of Saint Paul the Apostle is now assigned to January 26. But previously in the 12th century, the feast of Saint Timothy was celebrated on January 10, 24th. The vigil of the feast of the conversion of Saint Paul. The prayer formulas which are now common to both saints were formerly proper to the feast of Saint Titus, celebrated on February 6th, and were introduced into the Roman calendar in 1854. So just we are seeing how these two feasts were separate and now they are made into one feast. Let's look at Timothy now. Timothy, favorite disciple of Saint Paul, was born of a Greek father and a Jewish mother who eventually converted to Christianity. Saint Paul states that from his infancy, Timothy was educated in the scriptures by his mother, Eunice, and his grandmother, Lois. Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 14 to 15. He was converted to Christianity by Saint Paul on his first missionary journey and accompanied Paul on his second and third journeys highly recommended by the Christian community in Lystra. From the Acts of the Apostles, especially chapter 16 to 20, and from references in the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, we learn that Timothy was sent by Paul to Macedonia, Thessalonica and Corinth. On two occasions, when Paul was imprisoned, Timothy was near to give him support. It is not known when Timothy received holy orders, but he had the care of the church at Ephesus and it is likely that he died there. He was the bishop of Ephesus. That's about Timothy. Now let's look at Titus. Titus came from a pagan family and he also converted to Christianity during Paul's first missionary journey. He accompanied Paul and Barnabas to the council at Jerusalem where Paul received official approbation as an apostle to the Gentiles. Galatians chapter 2 verse 9. In his second letter to the Corinthians, Paul expresses his great trust in Titus as an intermediary to establish peace between Paul and the church of Corinth. Later, he assigned Titus as head of the church in Crete. We read it in Titus verse, chapter 1, verse 4 to 5, where he died at an advanced age. Title, uh, Saint Titus, is specially venerated in Croatia. So this is all for today, my dear friends. I pray for God's blessings on you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day. It's a holiday in India. And see you tomorrow. God bless you once again.